What is up, everybody? JT Danger said once again, I am here to do my 2019 NBA Finals prediction. Now, we are down to the final two teams to see who will win this year's NBA championship between the Eastern Conference champions, the Toronto Raptors, facing the reigning five-time Western Conference champions and the reigning back-to-back -back NBA champions, the Golden State Warriors. So I am very excited to do my finals prediction for you guys this year, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, record, coming into the NBA Finals, after a not-too-bad conference finals, we went 1-1. One one. So our over record coming in is 11-3. So win or lose here, we're going to have our third consecutive winning record on the channel when it comes to the NBA playoffs. So I am absolutely stoked about that. So hope in this video we will cap off a fantastic year on the channel when it comes to the NBA playoffs and finish with another postseason winning record. Hopefully. Now, if you have not checked out the videos I put up on the channel this past week, definitely go check them out if you haven't. As always, show your support on all of my videos and the channel by watching these videos. Super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, commenting your picks, your opinions, and representing your NBA teams in the comment sections down below. Now, this is your first time watching my channel today as a first time viewer, and this is your first video. Boy, you're big to go in if you're a huge NBA fan like myself and you're ready for this year's NBA Finals. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I am JD Dangerous. Welcome to the club because this club is just, just two. Woo, woo. Again, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into these NBA Finals predictions. Let's start off with the Eastern Conference champions, the Toronto Raptors. They're coming off their series win tonight over the Milwaukee Bucks. And let me just say something about the Milwaukee Bucks. Very good team, but they just fell short. But I no doubt they will be back in the NBA playoffs next season, and don't be surprised they make it to the NBA Finals. But Toronto got it done tonight, and the Raptors are making their first appearance in an NBA Finals in franchise history. And they have three goals in mind. One, win Toronto, win the Raptors' first franchise's NBA championship. Two, defeat the Thanos of the NBA, the Golden State Warriors. And three, and a very long drought for Toronto sports teams. Now, here is a huge dangerous fact. The last Toronto sports team to win a championship for Toronto was the 1993 Toronto Blue Jays. So it's been 26 long years for a sports team in Toronto to win a championship. So those those kind of moment, those kind of history is definitely on the mind for the Raptor squad this year in the NBA Finals to finally end that streak. Now, this Raptor squad is good, no doubt. When you got Kawhi Leonard, who has NBA Finals experience has won an NBA championship. You got Marcus Saul, Kyrie Lowry, Peak Pascal C. Cam. This Raptor squad is definitely good, and you know Drake is going to be at every home game, and they're looking to bring their first NBA championship to the Great White North. They're near side of the Golden State Warriors coming off their fifth consecutive Western Conference title when they swept the Portland Trail Blazers. Let me just say something about the Trail Blazers. Rip City will be back next year, no doubt. As long as they stay healthy, and no big-time injuries happen before the, the playoffs start, this Trailblazers team is going to be right back in that position, uh, right back in their position last year, but they may possibly make it to the NBA Finals. But Rip City is going to be in good hands with Lillard and McCollum. But the Warriors got it done as per usual because they're the Warriors. They're the Thanos of the NBA. And they're looking to win their third consecutive NBA championship. Only their last team to do that was the Los Angeles Lakers back in 2000, 2001, and 2002. And with this Golden State Warriors team, they're looking to finish off quite possibly the most dominant run in the NBA playoffs in years. I mean, look at the squad they have. They got Steph Curry. They got Klay Thompson, Boogie Cousins, Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala, Kevin Durant. And even without Kevin Durant, they found a way to win. And that's kind of that's kind of their team in a, in a nutshell. You lose one piece of the one piece of the puzzle. There's like three other more pieces that they can fit together to make the team work. And that's what the Golden State Warriors have done almost all, almost all postseason. They lose Boogie, they, they improved. They lose Durant, they improvise. And that's kind of the Warriors in a nutshell. They just know how to win when it matters the most. And they're looking to cap off this, quite possibly the last year that all these players are going to be on one team by winning another NBA championship. So, coming from me. In this year's NBA Finals between the Toronto Raptors and the Golden State Warriors. Oh, man. You talk about David versus Goliath. I mean, David being the Toronto Raptors, Goliath being the Golden State Warriors. And, again, anything can happen in the NBA Finals. We've seen it before. I can see the series going six, possibly seven. If Toronto can win two games in Oracle Arena, I think this series can go six. If they can win maybe one, six games, if they lose both games in Oracle, they'll be done in five. But coming from me, 
as much as I want to pick the Raptors, as much as I want to, I want to see it happen. I can't pick against this Warriors squad. They're just too damn OP to pick against. It would be stupid to pick against the Warriors right here, right now. So coming from me, I'm taking the Golden State Warriors to once again be the NBA champions for the third consecutive year and defeat the Toronto Raptors in six games. And those are my NBA Finals 2019 predictions. Now I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below, who do you have winning the NBA Finals between the Raptors and the Warriors? If you're Raptors fans, use the hashtag WeTheNorth and let me know how many games will it take for your Raptors to bring home their first NBA championship, and also end the 26-year drought of Toronto sports teams. Now, if you're a Warriors fan, use the hashtag strength in numbers and let me know how many games it will take for the Warriors to win their third consecutive NBA championship. And as always, represent your NBA teams in the comment section. Even if they didn't make the playoffs this year, or they were eliminated early in the playoffs, or late in the playoffs, still represent them in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment, like it, and of course, reply right back to you, because comments are absolutely always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so, so very much for watching all of my NBA playoff predictions on the channel this year. This was a great year, thanks to you guys, and I loved all this. I loved all the uh, opinions in the comments section. I really did appreciate that. And as always, you know we're going to be running this shit back next April, so hopefully you guys will be along for the ride. Now, before, I, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, of course, super kick, that like button like only you guys can, and of course you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button, become part of this bigger and dangerous, dangerous alliance, and I will see you guys later for some even more big videos. Later days, guys, and peace.